Good morning, it's Lydia Knox, artist, astrologer, and witch. And I come to you from Monday to Friday with some astrology, some magic, and uh, try to help you navigate this uh, magical astrology energy. Good morning, Sue. Hi, Andre. Magical astrology for today and the weekend. So this is my weekend edition. Every Friday, I post everything that's gonna happen on the weekend. Plus, I add a little bit of magic. We're getting close to the new moon. So, uh, you know, this is a good time to, to really cleanse anything that's in your way and uh, get rid of it and uh, any blockages. So that's a little hint about what's coming at the end of my little astrology talk. So stay tuned. Uh, if you're catching me on YouTube, please like, subscribe and um, follow and share. Please share. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah. Hi, Andre. Yeah, it's Freya's day. So Freya, the goddess of love, the, the goddess of Venus, and there's good news. Venus is going direct after going retrograde for quite a while. And uh, there'll be more on that. But this is uh, just in time for preparing for Valentine's Day, you know, and the idea of love and lighting the fires and all that fun stuff. All right. So today, uh, which is Friday the 28th uh, the moon is in Sagittarius and it squares with Neptune and it squares with Lilith in Gemini so this is a, a troublesome aspect but troublesome aspects aren't necessarily a bad thing uh, it actually intensifies our intuition it intensifies our need to create it intensifies our dreams our dreams may have been a little bit crazier um the you know things weird things can inspire you and uh, especially with lilith and gemini it's good to do some shadow work understand your shadow self and come to terms with it and make peace with it and uh what i mean by shadow self is uh one article that I read, which was a really great description for understanding your shadow self, is um, write down all the things that annoy you in other people, <laughs> right? Just write them out, list them out. Everything that, you know, if you don't like arrogant people, or if you don't like snobbish people, or if you don't like uh, prejudiced people, and all those things, write them down, and then at the top of it, write your name and that is your shadow self that it's not pretty however the more we are aware of our shadow self the more we can make changes to bring some balance into our life there's the the positive self that we you know perform in front of other people that we want other people to see us as and then there's our shadow self that um, is all the hidden stuff that we don't really like about ourselves that we need to work on. And if you're balanced between the two, you come to a strong point of integrity. And Lilith in Gemini, when you think of Gemini as a sign of curiosity, but it's also a sign of the twins. So there's like one self and the other self. And in order to be, um, a Gemini and I speak from experience you kind of have to be aware of both sides of the story in order to understand yourself and this is true with anybody really and uh, there's a lot of signs that have this double aspect Pisces has it Libra has it Sagittarius man horse <laughs> has it so um, you know come to terms with that and also even Aquarius and it's Aquarius season Aquarius holds um, the vessel of water it's an air sign and yet it carries water which is water represents emotions and feelings so there is a sense that uh, Aquarius has a very rational side but is also very aware of its emotional needs and and feelings so there's something to think of some uh, food for thought uh, yeah so, and uh, as I said, v Venus begins to move direct. So this is going to increase our creative flow as artists and as witches. Um, you know, so you got to ask yourself, what are you going to do with your art? So this Venus is in Capricorn. So it makes us a little bit more goal oriented. It makes us more determined. It makes us um, put the pedal to the metal and really work on 
creating change and creating value in our art and in our magic. And it's a good time to focus on your sense of craftsmanship and, and try and work with your craftsmanship to create something that endures and, and um, that has value, right? So um, challenge yourself. This is a great time to challenge yourself to learn a new skill in terms of art and magic, right? Um, find out a different form of divination or maybe um, investigate a different medium to work with or even with your own art uh, look at other contemporaries around you and if you see something that you like try and study how they are doing it and apply it to um, meld with your style I'm not saying make your their style yours but actually kind of bring the two together to um, redefine your style and the way you work um, yeah so saturday the moon uh, enters into capricorn so we're heading towards the fall the new moon which will be in aquarius on the first of february so this is the last point of the moon's journey from full to new and um, so it's the last time to clean up anything that we don't like and mars meets up with the moon so there's a conjunction between the mars and capricorn which gives us even more determination even more energy to strive for a challenging thing to create and um, we'll have that extra boost to get things done and venus and pluto meet up so they've been slowly coming together pluto moves really slowly uh, Venus doesn't move as fast. It's a faster moving planet, but the, because they meet up, this is a great time to work on relationships. Uh, and also with your creativity, it's a good time to dig deep into your vulnerable nature, into those things that you are afraid of and come to terms with and find integrity. Again, the theme of shadow work comes up, right? So, um, if you do this, you'll be surprised at the intense beauty that comes out through your art if you do the work. Capricorn is do the work, get the reward. That is the energy of Capricorn and all those planets in Capricorn, especially Pluto, which is uh, definitely asking you to dig past the surface. Don't be superficial in what you're doing. Actually uh, tune into what makes you angry, what makes you feel passionate, what makes you feel uh, alive, and what do you find beautiful and, and challenge yourself. And it's okay to fall back and make a mistake because Mercury's still in retrograde and it's joining all those other planets uh, in Capricorn. And that means that you can learn from your mistakes. So for the past few days, I've been making art that I'm just really not happy with. And that's okay, right? Because I see that art as a great learning experience. Because um, if I'm not happy with it, I can ask myself, what is it that I need to change? How do I need to challenge myself to level up in my artwork and become a better artist or a better witch, right? If, you, if you're um, confronted with a whole bunch of things you can't control, what kind of magic can you do to level things up, right? You definitely are going to give it up to the invisibles. And that is vulnerable. And it's hard. It's hard to let go of issues, especially with all these planets in Capricorn. Because Capricorn, in its uh, darker energies, wants to control everything it just wants to just control everything so when you let go and control and uh, let go of control and let the universe take over then things really start to roll in so saturday is pretty busy saturday is also ruled by the planet saturn so it's a perfect time to book in some really good work um yeah and sunday um venus the planet of love and the planet of art and the planet of beauty in Capricorn, endurance, hard work, um, practical, practical love, uh, connects, aligns really well with Uranus and Taurus. 
And for artists, this is a reawakening of new vision. So if you've done all this hard work, by Sunday you'll be coming up with some fantastic ideas and new forms to express yourself. And the sun also squares with Uranus. So the Aquarius sun um, aligns with Uranus in a more clashy kind of way. And that is going to bring up some uncertainty. And it might even be scary. Some of the things that you'll envision that you want to do might frighten you. And that's not a bad thing. It, you have to, since Mercury is still in retrograde until the second, you have to let go of that desire to know the answer right away. It's going to come to you after Mercury goes direct. But for now, you kind of just have to let go and let the universe take control. <laughs> so that's where we're at right now for this weekend. And so, okay, let's do some magic, right? So I was thinking... Uh, if you're an artist or a witch or whatever, and you have creative blocks, and here's a, a method to get rid of some of those creative blocks, or even to deal with some of your shadow work, if you've done the shadow work that I suggested. So uh, go out into the woods and find a pine cone, one of those pine cones that are more open that you can stuff stuff into, right? And um, Bring it back home and uh, find a safe place to burn something, maybe on your balcony or in an alleyway or in your backyard, where, whatever is good, but make sure that it's, you burn it safely. And um, write down all those things that you want to remove from your life. So if it's, if it's artistic blocks, write down those artistic blocks. If it's things about your shadow self that you're not really proud of, write down those things. <laughs> Once again, tear them into little strips and stuff them into the pine cone. And then, um, then, you know, start a little fire. I have a cast iron cauldron that's perfect for this. Any kind of um, fire safe metal container is, is very helpful. If you have a fireplace, that's even better, right? Um, all those things are, are good for um, uh, burning away this all this negativity especially as we enter into the new moon and I even have a, a spell written out for you so I'm going to write this down in the comment section and um, by all means feel free to use it so it's good to use a rhyme in magic and meter because um, rhyme is magical <laughs> words are powerful and uh, so this is it. All right. So fire cone, fire cone, burning so bright. Take away the things that block my sight. Let my creative vision rise and soar. Let the smoke rise and open the door. So I can move forward with courage and love as, above, as below, so above, so mote it be. And we say... As uh, Wiccans, we say, so mote it be, you can say, so be it, you can say, ashe, all those things work, uh, even amen. <laughs> and uh, this will help you um, remove those, those creative blocks. And for those of you who have just joined me, hello, don't worry, I'm going to post this whole thing on uh, Instagram and on YouTube. So uh, you can catch it later. And if you have any questions or anything that you'd like to ask me, or if you want to book an astrology appointment on Instagram, click on my bio. There's a link tree that allows you to book an appointment with me. I just had this fantastic appointment with the client yesterday, and it was really cool because we talked about shadow self, and uh, that kind of inspired me to to really investigate it for myself and to see what kind of shadow work exercises you can do to, uh, to become aware of your shadow self. So with that, I'm going to say stay creative, stay magical, and I will see you guys on Monday morning. Bye.